Hi, my name is Rich Sims. I'm a facilitator with Men Healing. I'm also a registered somatic movement educator and movement therapist, a body awareness and Aikido instructor, and a certified trauma professional. So all that really means is that I help a lot of people use their bodies and minds together to help with their stress, fears, anxiety, trauma, and even empowerment. So I use many, many tools to do this that can be used in, in countless areas of your lives. I'm really looking forward to working together. Take care. So before we begin today, I like to always start with what I call a safety contract. And I make this contract with everyone that I always work with because we're working with our bodies and our minds. And this is new stuff to a lot of people. And all the safety contract says is that you're in charge. So even if I ask you to do something that seems like not a big deal, like, oh, can you, can you raise your hand? If for whatever reason that doesn't seem right to you or it bothers you or is annoying, don't do it. You're in charge, okay? Now what I do invite you to do is watch the video and maybe see what I am doing or why I'm asking you to do that. But if that's still not right, don't do it. Remember, you're in charge and not every video that we put out may be right for everyone. So that's my deal with you, the safety contract. In this video, we're going to explore one of my favorite exercises to teach people. I call it hand breathing or finger breathing. People that suffer from anxiety or panic attacks, you know, often use this and have come back to me and said, oh my gosh, this is, this is great. I love this exercise. So let's dive in and I'll walk you through it and we'll explore. What I'd invite you to do is, is hold your arms. Just let them hang from your shoulders. Okay, and we're gonna bend from our elbows. Okay, we're not gonna wing our arms out. We're just gonna bend our elbows up like you're scooping something up. Okay, like you're gently scooping something up in your hands. You keep your hands loose. But on an inhalation, that's when we scoop something up. And on an exhalation, that's when we pour it out. Inhalation. Exhalation. Inhale, exhale. Keep doing this at your own pace, but I, I'd invite you to let your hands follow your breathing. So your breathing's leading the way. Now while you're doing this, if your breathing stops or pauses anywhere or stutters along the way, I want you to mirror that with your hands. So say on my inhale, I pause before I exhale, my hands would pause. And then on the exhale, I would start moving my hands again. Now if you're breathing fast or slow, say I take a quick inhalation then my hands would move fast. Or if I take a quick exhalation, my hands would move fast that way. With your breath leading your hands. Okay, on the next exhale, let's take a little break. Okay, was that different? Is it different to breathe just breathing in and out? Or is it different to breathe while you're adding a body motion? That's not really related to your, to your lungs. We're just moving our hands up and down. Is that different? So if you want, you can pause this. If not, just think about how is that different? Does it feel different? Okay. 
Now we're going to switch this up a little bit. Again, let's get our hands moving. Okay, we're just following our breathing. So inhalation, exhalation. Inhale, exhale. Okay, now I want to switch it up a bit. Before, our breath was leading our hands. We were following our breath with our hands. Okay, now what I would like to do is make our hands in charge. Okay, so whatever our hands do, our breathing is going to follow. So if we move our hands quick, quick inhalation. Okay. If we pause, we pause our breath and pick it up again. Okay. If we wanted to have an inhale and a long exhale, we'd move our hands slowly because they're leading the way now. Play with this at your own pace, but your breathing is following the motion of your hands. And your next exhale, let's take another break and talk about what we're doing. Because I, I, I just don't show you movements for no reason. There's a purpose, okay? And as I mentioned before, you know, if something affects us and we're getting either worked up one way or the, one way or the other, we need a little hand and it's a little much just to kind of say, oh, okay, calm down, which often doesn't work if you say that to somebody else, or even to yourself. Okay, as a matter of fact, it usually has the opposite effect. Okay, so this is another way to use your body to help you control your breathing. Okay, so real world. Okay, people have said that this is kind of calming when they're doing this, and it's great, but we can't walk around going, okay, hang on, I'm, I'm a little upset, hang on, I'm gonna do this before I answer you. Not gonna work. So how do we use this in the real world? Okay, well the cool thing is with practice, this, this is what we're doing, we're practicing. We practice big and we get small, okay? This, with practice, can turn into this. This can actually turn into this. This can actually get smaller and can turn into this. Okay, now how would you use this? Okay, say you're sitting at a table. You know, I'm just going to raise my knee here. You know, pretend I'm in a chair and my hand's on my, on, my, on my knee, okay? So if it's here and I'm getting kind of worked up because somebody said something to me or gave me some news I really didn't want to hear, my breathing, I notice because I'm, I'm all of a sudden aware my breathing's getting kind of out of control and I'm getting all worked up. How do I bring this down? Okay, hand breathing, finger breathing. Remember, with practice, we can help control what our breath is doing by coupling it or marrying it to the motion of our hands or our fingers. So inhalation, exhalation, inhalation exhalation. Okay, if your finger doesn't work for you, you can do this with your toes and your shoe or even a heel on the ground. If this is my heel here, inhalation, lifting it off the ground, exhalation, inhalation, exhalation.
exhalation. Okay, so you can really use any body part, but you couple it with your breathing and you use that to help control the rate and the pace and the pauses that you take. Okay. Now, another way to do this, this was up and down. I always like to give options. Okay. This is up and down, and some people like that. Now, another way to do it is in and out. So inhalation, exhalation, inhalation, we're leading with our thumbs, exhalation. So scoop out and in. Now there's two ways to do this. And usually I tell people when we begin to see if you can bring it into your center, but that doesn't feel right for some people to scoop and bring it in, okay? If that doesn't feel right, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, scoop and go down. And scoop out, inhalation, and down. Okay, so options. Okay, it's always great to have options. I think up and down feels a little different than in and out. Okay, I mentioned grounding and centering. To me, this helps me feel grounded, very like connected to the earth grounded, strong, solid. Okay, this helps me feel centered, grounded to myself. Bringing stuff in. Okay. Or down. So whatever feels right for you, play with this. Okay, and the next time you become aware that you're either getting excited, you know, or kind of feeling down and, and you notice your breathing's just not normal or where you'd like to be. Don't try to do it all with your head. Okay? Join or couple it with a motion. In this case, our hands, our fingers, a toe. Okay? The in and out can even be rocking your hand back and forth. Okay? Play with this. A lot of people use it every day that I've taught through the years. Start big and get smaller and smaller and smaller. At a point, nobody will even know you're doing this, but it's a great tool to help you control your breathing, which then also controls your heart rate and all sorts of other things going on in your body and also helps work with your emotions and your feelings. So take this and play with it. It's been great to be with you again. Take care and enjoy.